All right, so we are in Bergenland with um, Zini from Andreas Zinniel. So Bergenland is where you know a lot of popular natural wine producers like um, Budakau. And uh, this is just such a fun leader bottle. Um, it's a blend of several different grapes that all have skin contact. So it's darker because it does have a little bit of Zweigel in it as well, which is a, a red grape. But then it also has Welsh Riesling, Muscatella, or like Muscat, and Sauv Blanc that also have skin contact. So it's funny because it almost looks like a Ramato, but it's really just like a skin contact white that has a mix of red. So every mix you can think of is what we're apparently bringing to the club now. Um, so yeah, so the vintage is 2021, um, low ABV 11.5%. Um, and yeah, so it's supposed to be kind of like a fun, easy drinker, just based on the fact that he's throwing it in a liter bottle. Um, so on the nose, it's got this gorgeous, like, man, there's so, because of this blend, like there's so much going on. I don't even know where to start. I want to like really nail the very first like whiff you get though. It's like this. Oh, oh, this is not right. I want to say blueberry jam, which it is, but it's not like, it's so much more than that. I feel like blueberry jam when I'm talking about California, like it's like a super light blueberry, I don't know, like brioche roll or some sort of crazy fancy blueberry like uh dessert um and then there's like a very floral note to it too almost like I think violets and then you know there's red and white qualities to it so there's there's like stone fruit and there's lemon um but it's like and there's like blood orange man there's just a lot here um which is funny because this is supposed to be like the fun one but again just because of the blend and how like you can kind of get different notes of each of those types of grapes here there's a lot to unpack it just smells so good it smells like like a specific food and I can't think of what it is it's some sort of like berry I don't know like berry compote dessert I keep going back to the berries but again like just the lightest version you can think of almost like a perfume um so let's try it Dang, that is so tasty. So it's got this lovely high acid, very high acid, um, but it's nicely balanced. Like there's not barely any tan. I'm going to assume the skin contact across the board is pretty low. Um, definitely putting this in the glue glue category, but also like complex. Like I imagine you could probably age this for a while, but just like the structure of it, so easy. Like it doesn't need food at all. Um, but with that in mind, it's interesting because it is like, you know, it seems a little bit heftier, <clears throat> but it really like, I would like to put this with something like Asian food. Like I love the idea of this with like dumplings or bibimbap or, um, I mean, I get uh, Indian food for some reason, I'm feeling like, no, uh, <laughs> I can't give you a specific reason why, but like, oh, Chinese food, like that'd be so good with like general sow chicken, stuff like that or pork or whatever. So really tasty, um, a very great expression of like a really interesting blend in a way that you'd never think of. Uh, and the fun kind of different one for the Orange Wine Club. So I hope you all enjoy.